And it is a fact that Biden said that uh, Trump's supporters are garbage. It is undeniable, no matter how you want to spin it, no matter how CNN wants to, you know, claim that, oh, it was, yeah, an apostrophe. It was, a, uh, he was saying another thing. Karine Jean-Pierre, there is a clip of Karine Jean-Pierre flat out denying that it happened. So many people, oh, that never happened. You have, you are making things. No, Biden said it. And in less than 24 hours, I don't know how they did it, but Donald Trump seized the opportunity to, well, to do what everybody, even myself, I mentioned a meme like that that morning that he should be doing. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. How, how did they do that so fast? I mean, that I remember that I made a video at 7 a.m. that uh, that morning, so so you can have it uh, right before, uh, as, as you were waking up, if you were preparing for for uh, for work. And at the night, it was like how many, like 14, 15 hours later, it, it, we we already had this. It was like it was uh, maybe the day before that uh, Biden said that, and by five and a half uh, Central Time, they already had the drug and they already had it. Uh, this uh, this wonderful display here is something that I don't understand how they did it so quickly. But the best part, hands down, you know that I don't like to put long clips in here. And so many people were saying, you need to watch this clip. You need to watch this five minutes of Donald Trump telling the story of he getting into the orange suit. The orange man into the orange suit. Well, that, that would be, you know, so, so many people, so many people wanted to see Donald Trump with an orange suit. Well, it's like wordplay, right? Wordplay. And they told me, you need to watch this. It's so hilarious. And, well, uh, I know that Donald Trump can be hilarious sometimes. Uh, he can have good timing. But how how hilarious can it be? How hilarious can it be? And, well, if you haven't seen this, you won't be disappointed. This outfit, you know, is uh, when, they, when he called us all garbage. How stupid. Oh, what a stupid word. That blows deplorable away, don't you think? Yeah, that, that, that blows the deplorable is way too sophisticated. Garbage is much more raw, much more insulting. Of course, I thought irredeemable when she said deplorable or irredeemable. I thought irredeemable was actually worse, but deplorable seemed to catch up. But this garbage stuff blows. Yeah, because irredeemable means that, well, you cannot be redeemed. That is, that, that is really bad. I, I don't think that you should call anybody that worse. Blows it away so... I'm in this beautiful plane. I'm enjoying myself. I have a wonderful suit on. This is something that I like about Trump. He 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 doesn't refrain from saying that I'm a billionaire. I'm a billionaire. I'm in this, in this plane. I have this beautiful suit and all that stuff. He 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 is not afraid of saying this because. Everybody knows that that is his reality. He just talks about his reality. Oh no, you know, I was, I was, uh, I grew up in a middle class family. <sighs> yeah, we need honesty, and honesty, either if it comes from Tarantino or comes from Donald Trump, it is welcome because we are in dire need of honesty these days. <laughs> And one of my people came in and said, Sir, you know, the word garbage is the hottest thing right now <laughs> out there. The hottest thing out there. Sir, would you like to drive a garbage truck? When I say timing, that the humor has a lot, a lot, a lot to do with timing. And we were talking about humor the other day. You need to, you know, tell the story first. You're setting up the punchline and you're painting in the scenario what is going on. That is what Trump was doing right now. And he knew that with the way of narrating the story this way, he needed to 
make those pauses. And that gave people that uh, the chance to, well, imagine his reaction when he when his aide uh, told him, what, what do you think about driving a garbage truck? Now, we're about, you know, 30 minutes from landing. We had to do this pretty quick. I said, it's sort of cool, though, isn't it? Because, you know, and I said, you know, I think that's okay. But, you know, I don't feel comfortable wearing a suit. And they pulled up this garbage truck. I don't know how the hell they did it so fast. I have very capable people. They put a big sign on the truck. Did you see it? I think they showed it. And he is not afraid of saying that he was actually surprised of how they pull it off. It's not you're you're not uh, acting like oh yeah I knew that I could do it I knew that my team could do it because I we do it no he 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 says that he was actually surprised I think every, every everybody was surprised including himself. That's what makes it like natural. That's what makes it spontaneous. <laughs> And then they said, sir, we have a vest. I said, well, should I leave my suit on and put it over the vest? But that doesn't look very good, right? That doesn't look good. So I said, all right, look, let me take it off. And then I actually said, I climbed into the truck. But here's a, so I said, how the hell do you get into this truck? It's way up high. It's a big one. <laughs> this was a beauty. I said, you didn't have to buy it that big, right? You have to get it that big. They brought this brand new, gorgeous truck, wonderful driver. He looked like uh, Cary Grant in his prime. You know who that is? <laughs> this beautiful driver. And he drove that big thing up. And I said, man, this is bad, because now I have all the cameras. They're all watching. Look, look at all the fake news. They were most of them. There were all the mainstream media right there with the cameras and, and the, the, the mics. And then he was like, giving a sort of a press conference and he was going to do the press conference with the orange suit and the garbage truck it was they he, he was essentially forcing them forcing them to cover the ultimate trolling now most of them many of them were there and i'm saying oh boy You know, one little mistake with these guys and your, your political career is over. You can't even. That, that is true. I, in, this, this is the best part. The one that they so I said, man, if I don't get up there, this is going to be very embarrassing. <laughs> these stupid people, they'll say, he's cognitively and physically impaired. <laughs> and I can't do that when I'm alongside of this great athlete. I got to get up to that. So... So look, so the stair, the first stair is like up here. I'm saying, shit. <laughs> he's not afraid to say those words. And he's uh, very, he's very visual about everything. He's like, oh, it was very hard to know. This, the first stair was like this height. And I say, shit. So, so I had the adrenaline going and I made it. <laughs> conference from the front of the, you know, they asked their wise guy questions and everything. And then uh, we drove about two feet. I got out, got in the plane. <laughs> and then I got in the car and I'm driving over here and I have this still on. And I come into the arena and I say, where's my jacket? I want to get out of this thing. And... And he says that he was like angry. He, he didn't want to wear the orange... Uh, Uh, jacket They anymore. said it would be unbelievable if you could wear it on stage. I said, <laughs> and I said, no way. I got 25,000 people standing outside. I got all these people here. There's no way I'm wearing it on stage. They said, oh, okay, sir. I said, get me my jacket. But if you did, you know, it actually makes you look thinner. I said, oh. And they got me. I said, I want to wear it on stage. When they said I look thinner, I said, in that case, I'll wear it on stage. 
Okay, let, let, let's let's uh, think of one thing. Imagine that, oh, he he got that written for him. He got that joke written for him. He didn't come up with that joke himself. Someone wrote that for him. Even if someone wrote you that joke, having the timing to deliver it properly, that that requires sense of humor. That requires sense of humor. I'm pulling up here. I have the the picture and the video of the guy who drove uh, Trump's truck, so you can see him. But this is so great because it's a great sense of humor and how. So, how, I don't know how to say this. It's that he is not forcing it, which is the most important thing. He is not forcing it, and especially he is uh, he's telling someone that you see, you, you, you have the video of what happened. You have the video of the guy in the garbage truck. It's not that he's narrating something that, oh, maybe it happened, but nobody saw it. No, you see the video because he forced, they essentially forced everybody to cover him driving the truck and then telling that story, it was just hilarious. And this is the guy who drove Trump's garbage truck. I need to, I think that uh, this already has uh, captions. I drove Trump's garbage truck. So I had a few people reach out, so I figured I'd jump on here and just let everybody know that was me driving President Trump's garbage truck. There's me with Vivek right there, but... I gotta say, it was an honor and a privilege to drive Garbage Force One. Garbage Force One. President Trump is just a normal, everyday guy. He hopped in no problem. He looked at me, he said, give me one of these right here, and we don't have one of these, we have one of those. So I honked a couple times and he laughed. He said, how about we take this bad boy through McDonald's? And I said, sir, I don't think she'll <laughs> fit in the drive through He said, it's all right, I used to work there. <laughs> and he turned to me and he said something and I'm I'm getting chills just thinking about it. He said, this is really sticking it to Joe Biden. I said, yes, sir, it is. So, Joe, can, consider this a message to you because you called us garbage in order to prove that we aren't garbage. We got a truck that hauls garbage. Now, does that sound like something garbage would do would be to drive around in a truck that hauls garbage? I don't think so. You made a, a mistake, Joe. You can't call a group of people garbage unless it's meant to be funny. And in that case, those people need to stop being so soft. Maybe get a sense of humor. But if you call me garbage, that's offensive. Yeah, it was, it was hands down. It has uh, like 30 seconds more of, uh, of, this, um, of uh, this statement. But... I think this was trolling level over 9,000. I don't know how he did it. Do you need the timing? Do you need the charm? You can, you can have it written for you, but you absolutely, you absolutely need, you know, the sense and the charm to be able to tell the story that way. You need to have it in you. But again, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments.